Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to crochet slipper socks. All you'll need is some bulky wool and a number 8 crochet hook. So let's get started. First you're gonna make a loop. And then you're gonna chain four. One, two, three, and four. Now we're gonna join this to make a circle. You go into the first chain and you will make a slip stitch. So basically you pull it out through the first chain and the second. And you make it a little loose so you can pull this and make a hole in the center. Find the hole. And now you're gonna crochet three chains. One, two, and three. And you are going to chain 11 double crochets in the middle here. So let me show you how. Here's the first double crochet. You loop it over, you go in here, and then pull it out, and then yarn over, and pull through the first two chains, then yarn over and pull through the two chains again. So that, that's your first double crochet. I'm gonna show you one more time. So you yarn it over, go in here, pull it out, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the first two again. So now you've got two double crochets not including the one that we chained so I'll meet you around after I have gone around the circle for round one so that's the end of round one and I'm ready to close the gap here so let's count the first one is the three chains that we did we will not counting that we should have 11 double crochet in the first round so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And so you find the third chain out of the three that we chained earlier. So one, two, three. So you go into the third one and you do a slip stitch to close the gap. There you have your first round. And before we proceed, I'm going to just turn it over and I'm gonna pull this tight to close the hole. So you can either cut this off or you can just leave it as is. I'm going to just tie a knot And leave it for now okay so for round one that's the end of round one so you're gonna chain three for round two one two three and now you are going to find the chain the first chain beside this one here which is not going to be this one it will be the one beside it because you see how this chain is part of this link here so we're not gonna go in here but we will go in here so we will do a double crochet in the first chain and then we are going to do two double crochet in the second chain. So that's one and that's two in the same chain. So we are going to alternate one double crochet and in the next chain 
two double crochets one double crochet and two double crochet in the next chain and so on and we're going to continue to finish round two so now i've got one and i've got two so now i have to do one in this next chain then we are going to do two in the next chain that's one And I'll meet you after round two. At the end of round two, you should have 18 stitches altogether, not including the three chains that we chained previously. So leaving this out, it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now we are ready to close the gap here. So we're gonna go again. One, two, three, count the third stitch and go in there and finish it with a slip stitch. So now you closed it. Close the circle. So you can see we are slowly forming the base of our foot of the sock. So for round three, we're just going to continue with three chains and then we are going to go into the next stitch and every stitch from now on it will be one double crochet. So this will be our first one and then in the second stitch. It will be another double crochet and the third stitch and so on so this is the same pattern we are going to follow for rows four five and above so every chain will have one double crochet and make sure that you have 18 stitches not counting the three separate links that we chained earlier and we will continue until we reach a length of our preference. Like for this one here, I have made it long enough so it is just below my knee. You can make it longer or shorter according to your needs. So I will see you when I reach the top of the sock. One thing I wanted to bring to your attention before we close the gap is this area here the the section here that you see you should not be making a double crochet in this section or else the top of your sock is going to get wider and looser so in that case in this case we are not going to do that we are just going to leave this side out because if you notice the three chains are still part of the same chain. So after you have done your double crochet in the last chain, you will leave this one out and then you're going to count one, two, three and then you go in the third chain and then you do a slip stitch to close to complete the row so there you're that's the end of row three and then you are going to continue so forth and so on until you get to the top of the sock and also one important note is when you crochet do not crochet it extra tight if it's a little loose there's more room for it to stretch happy knitting hello so now I'm back I have finished um, crocheting all the rows until the length that I needed so in all I have um, a total length of 18 and a half inches and the width is four and a half inch so now I'm ready to bind off um, before I do that I want to close the gap between these two um, stitches so I'm just going to do this do a slip stitch one last time and going to cut 
cut off the section. I'm going to just bring it in from here and just tie a knot just like that. Just gonna pull it tight. And I usually like to create a knot. over and I would just weave in the tail into one of into these stitches so you can use a needle to do that or you can just um, use the crochet hook to just weave it through doesn't have to be very perfectly done um, you can just weave in any way that you like as long as the tail is hidden so now I'm going to just turn this around and I'm going to go the opposite direction to make sure that it doesn't come out I'm just going to tie the loose ends together just to be extra sure that I have it all nicely secured and I'll trim off the edge. Here we go. This is our final product. One thing I wanted uh, to let you know is after I have finished round five, row five, one, two, three, four, five, I found um, that when I put my foot inside, it was a little bit um, tight. So I started to increase in the next five rows by one stitch. So in the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth, I added one stitch in each row. And then I stopped increasing it from row 11. And then I started to crochet, one double crochet in every single row without increasing so when i get to row when i got to row 10 i had 23 stitches not including the three chain stitches that we usually exclude from counting so i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and i hope that you enjoy this cozy sock. Have fun!